Hello and welcome back to more Harvestella Omen Storm here. Uh, for this one, we are going to be going and diving into the Caranoid and progressing through it some more. And then after that, we're going to work on improving the report with some of our allies. Now, I'm doing this as a recording and not a stream, just simply so that <laughs> if I need to, I can go and edit that. I did not want to just go right back in here. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go and waste that bell. And then we're going to do this in not a foolish way. And I teleported to the wrong place. This is just already off to a great start, isn't it? But I, I do want to do some per Progression of the Caranoid in part because I do not remember how many floors there are for this, but I do know that. Actually, do I know? If I remember correctly, there is supposed to be something all the way at the end of this. And what do we have down at the bottom of this well? Chaos Powder. Okay. But I am using another setup for what classes I have active because I've gone and gotten the passives unlocked for more of the jobs that I had at the previous recording. So, actually I might end up wanting to switch off of Mage, it looks like. But right now, our setup is Pilgrim, Mage, and Assault Savant. And the only other thing that's really happened outside of me selling a bunch of stuff off screen by spending an entire, the entire remaining days of winter just going and growing plants. But we upgraded the Magic Swordsman ring slightly, so it's now plus 20 to our physical attack instead of plus 18. Uh... Is, oh, there's two more wells over here, I suppose to say. Is there supposed to be more wells? Okay. So, where... Oh, there we go. This is the one we want. But once I have gone and gotten all the stuff leveled up, the jobs that I'm going to end up using in the end Let's get this are over probably... With. Oh, darkness, I'm already forgetting the names are probably going to be the Skylancer, the Salt Savant, and the Pilgrim. But there are still two more plat well, two more jobs that I haven't unlocked as of yet, and I do not know how exactly they play, so I might end up choosing them. But for right now, the plan is to go with the Assault Savant, I've already gone. Why did the controller just vibrate? Uh, okay. But I really have just simply for. Oh! There's still an enemy around. Okay, hello there. I've already got. So, Pilgrim, the Salt Spawn, and then the Skylands. There we go. I just need to get beat up by an enemy slightly to uh, remember the names of the classes, apparently. And more enemies. Well, you guys are just all around, aren't you? Ooh, you're actually all like level 45 and whatnot, so you are worthwhile for me to fight just simply on the grounds of getting job points. I'm pretty sure I get job points for defeating you guys. If I don't, that's gonna be horribly disappointing. And, hmm, I think we'll go with this one next just because it's closest. And yes, this is the one we want to go with. The Caranoid I do kind of enjoy, but this is one where I always question how, I always question how enjoyable this is from like a viewer standpoint because I like it, but it does get very repetitive very quickly, it feels like. But it's also 
a change of pace from the rest of the game, so it kind of works for that. And I just, when I do recordings that have it in it, or I'm doing stuff with it, I always end up questioning. Oh, and I'm getting attacked again. Wow, you guys are just all over the place, aren't you? I'm gonna need to restore stamina again. And I, I did a small amount of farming of fears off screen. I didn't do a whole lot. It just really was like maybe two or three that I went and farmed. And I didn't just decide not to try and do too much with that. Just simply because I I don't know if the rings are randomized or if certain fears have like a certain pool of rings that they can just drop because if there's like a certain pool then I kind of want to try and figure out what ones might drop rings that give the job up boost so I can boost that again and as well as maybe a ring that increases the HP because another HP boost would definitely be very appreciated especially after having died in last episode which I, I'm still embarrassed that I died because it, if I had been paying attention like I should have been, I wouldn't have. Seeing that sapling just reminds me that I, I'm pretty sure I checked the local nuts to see if I needed to worry about them, but I don't remember at this point in time. Oh, I also have gotten a whole bunch of nitro pineapple seeds because I was doing some farming on the lower level of oh, my uh, the research facility. I can't remember the full name of it, but I was doing some farming on the lower level of the research facility and I got a decent amount of the nitro pineapple from that, so... Once it moves over to spring, I can bad, go and... Huh? Those are a spring crop, right? I'm pretty sure those are a spring crop. But once it moves over to spring, I can go and start planting a bunch of those. And... I... The one thing that's kind of slowing me down right now for the jobs that I do want to go and do is I do want to get... Arya's thing progressed to 6 report, but Arya's report is directly tied to main story progress, and I just simply don't actually know when the next time we will get a boost in report with Arya actually is. I'm thinking that it's probably going to be at the end of this dungeon that we've started the facility, research facility just simply because it's going and dealing a whole lot with her past and such but I'm also not a hundred percent certain and wow these guys are a lot more durable than I was honestly expecting them to be but they should be finished pretty soon I would think at least that one is oh are you no you're not resisting my attack you're resisting someone else's attack Oh wait, no, you might be resisting my attack. I can't tell between Arya's attacks and mine. Thank you. I'm trying to pay closer attention to my health, and I realize that my VTuber model is currently blocking my health, which is, uh... I feel like I can't win with where I'm putting the model right now. Like, I'm either blocking the character portraits when they're talking or I'm like blocking some element of the UI and I probably could go and make some like adjustments to get it to sit somewhere else but uh, I feel like no matter what I do I'm just gonna not be ending up well with where my avatar is for this oh more enemies I will do my best 
Oh, you guys are level 50 now. Okay, you are really jumping up in strength. Oh, that does remind me. One of the other things that I did go and do off of any recording of streams is I did go and level up the weapons again. I leveled up my weapon one time and I leveled up a bunch of the weapons that needed the silver because I managed to get a bunch of the silver. But still don't really know how big of a boost the like one or two points of damage actually is. Just simply because I never actually pay a huge amount of attention to the damage. It's one of those where this is one of those games that feels like damage numbers don't mean like a whole lot. It just really feels more like a game where you just need to make sure that your weapon lasts you long enough to finish the fight. And that's, that's definitely not actually the case. Like, the bits of damage are important, but unlike a lot of other games where the numbers increase by large amounts or you can more easily tell the difference in damage, I, I really can't say that I can tell the difference in damage and... Really, we're doing this? You just threw all the wells over here and now I get to guess at them? No, of course the first one would be the right answer. Why would it be? That would have been too easy. Actually thinking about it, ooh, we do have a lot of job points now. So I can go and throw a bunch of points into all of these and I'm being a bit less careful about where I'm going. So I went and got Bolt Impulse because I realized that Bolt Impulse is right there so I have to I had to get that lower level one to get that one and I felt really foolish about not having that but to a certain degree I also didn't feel nearly as bad as I had originally thought I might just simply because of the fact that it's like how was I actually supposed to like know in advance when I couldn't really see it well, they've all been defeated. Let's go and try the middle one. That's obviously not going to be right. Yeah, why would the middle one be right? Let's get this over with. Oh, Ari is actually uh, pretty low on health, so let's see about consuming a bigger meal. Especially just to get some of our own stamina back while we're at it. These enemies definitely aren't too big of a danger like they're level 50 but that's also 10 levels below what i'm currently at i believe so it's one of those they're a threat but they also aren't like it's with the fear like if i'm not paying attention it will go and knock me out but if i'm actually paying attention then the fights really aren't something i need to be too afraid of Unless the fear is like, got a red marker, in which case I'm just going to avoid it because a red marker means that it's much stronger than me. A yellow one, we're about the same strength, and then green, I can just go and pick on it like it's a normal enemy, basically. And... Oh, I was hoping we found the exit. Oh well. One of these times, I'm going to go to one of these and it's actually going to be the first one I go to. That might have already happened and I've just simply forgotten it, but I don't think it has happened so far. Oh, seeing the standing in the red circle. One of the things that happened while I was farming fears was I went back to Phantasmagoria and I was farming the fears that were in Phantasmagoria. And I went to that one area where there's three of them all together. And I won the fight, I didn't die, but I was so annoyed during the fight because they just kept... Oh, there's still an enemy left. But they just 
had their things coming off cooldown in just the right cycle so that I was constantly under the fear status effect and running away. And I was, it was just like, you guys aren't doing enough damage to kill me, but also I can't do enough damage to like escape this purgatory. And that little purgatory was one of the things that was making me go and like debate whether I wanted to keep trying to farm or not. And ultimately after I finished that, I ended up deciding that I didn't want to go and do more farming for that. Oh, that attack was just awesome. That was a good workout. I am excited to see what the final attack looks like, though I don't think... Well, I know that I'm not anywhere as close to it just simply because of the fact that I don't have a fixed report with Arya yet, and again, Arya's report requires me to progress the main story. I am happy with all the materials we've gotten from these guys because these materials will either turn into something useful for leveling weapons later on, or they will just simply go and become something that I can sell for a decent amount of money. Thank you. And we've still got at least two wells here. I want to get to floor 30 and clear floor 30 before the game decides that's too late at night. It's literally the last one on this level. Of course it is. That enemy looks uh, to be on another level. Oh. We're better off avoiding it. Hmm. This is a tricky situation. Now, see, I know that there's, like, a safe path through here just some, because they don't see in, like, a certain range, so I can sneak through just like that, but that was also... That had a very high chance of just going horribly wrong. But we still made it to level 30, which is what I want to have happen, luckily. So let's try and take care of these all. It's not going anywhere as near as well as I would like. I actually was kind of low on health. That could have been very bad for me. I need to take out the smaller enemies first, I feel like. Just simply because then my allies and I will be able to focus on like the same main enemy. And are you guys weak to ice? You guys are weak to ice. Okay. I'll keep that in mind for dealing with the big guy. I hear my cat emerging from their hiding spot, so I wonder if they're gonna start messing with stuff or not. Oh! And. Let's see. We should be finishing this one up soon enough. This one got a lot of health. A lot more than I'm happy about. Let's switch the program and see if this can help me. No, that's not dealing any form of damage that you are weak against, unfortunately. So I'm going to want to switch back over to mage as soon as I can, and let's see about maybe getting something going. You know, I thought that one of these was something that was weak against, but it doesn't seem like it's actually going and applying anything to that. Oh, and we got a break, but it didn't seem like it really accomplished anything in the end. That's a bad disappointing, but oh well. We're building the break gauge back up. I kind of wish that I... Oh dear goodness, can we finish this fight in time is now the question. Because it's now 10 p.m. and I need to finish this before midnight. I don't want to collapse because that will be embarrassing. Oh my goodness. Now I'm like racing against the time. Okay, we've got a damage break. Come on. We can finish this. So close, but so far. Still activate. Okay, we finished it. It didn't drop anything. 
I don't care about that. I'm gonna grab what's in the chest. I'm gonna activate that thing and then I'm gonna return to the house and head to sleep. Got a fence blueprint. Okay. Uh, return home. Head to sleep. <laughs> oh. And we're in the bed. We're asleep. Okay. It's a new season. <laughs> oh, we got to level 61 from that. So that's nice. Oh, I was... I was really expecting them to go and pass out right then. So, I'm very glad that that didn't end up being the case. So let's go ahead and throw a bunch of stuff in here. So let's go take care of any of the things that don't need to be purified. Uh, those can just be shipped as is. The loco nut sapling. Uh, do I really want to plant that? No, I'll pass on that for right now. Oh, I don't have as many of these as I thought I did. That's a tad unfortunate. But let's. I just looked at the time. I could probably do just a whole short episode on the carinoid with how long that took. But for right now, let's. Get the nitros and do. I need to go get carrots. That is what I'm forgetting. That is what I'm forgetting and did not have resources for. Ooh, peaches. So I can go harvest those. Got to think of marmalade from that. From and. As far as I know, there isn't, like, any penalties for the game for, like, not finishing the story in year one or whatever. Or there might be in the end, but uh, I've not made it far enough to discover if that is an issue. Okay, is it just... Okay, it's just throwing the seeds down. I don't need to go and try and cultivate the land. Uh, I... I do not know what else I want to throw down here. I do know that I want to go grab a bunch of carrots just simply because the carrots are needed for one of the food things. And I don't know what else we have for seeds that are going to be good for uh, bring. See you later. I could probably go and grow more Eden rice, but I don't know that I need to do that. So I'll probably pass on that for just this moment. I always manage to forget that that's closed. You know what? We have enough money that I can just regularly buy some... Uh, buy some more food as it's needed, so let's go get another Lafau and such. And we still don't have any more quests here. And I think any remaining quests require progressing more with the report of other characters, is what I'm thinking. Because I don't... We've already got, like, now it wouldn't be unicorn stuff because unicorn the character report quests themselves do not count to oh hello there Cress. the character report quests themselves do not seem to count towards any of that's what i should do i should go and take a look at my fairy book and see what crops i need to specifically harvest for that and just because this is curry, I'm going to go and get a bunch of curry. And those are for things that we already... I, I love that I had like this brief moment of, wait, I need to go and actually check if I can grow the curry. So we've got 24 of those, 24 of those. And I don't know that I need to go grab anything else at the moment actually the uni onions i'm pretty sure are one of the things that i need for a uh, fairy order 
I'm always trying to remember the name of the little book quest things, but they're fairy orders as far as I can remember. And I again want to go and do that because I need to get all their little gems Welcome because back. those are used for one of the two remaining classes. So I want to go make sure that I got stuff that's useful either for cooking or for fairy stuff at the moment. So I do still need to get the crope with this, the union onion. Okay, so everything that I did get is useful in some one of these. So that is good. It looks like this one actually wants me to go and get more Woolam and Clefowl, which would require me to go and upgrade both of the houses for those, because I think right now I can only store or rear a maximum of three each. And, oh, this is useful. So, do I have... I only have two left, so let, let's go make two more of these. That means I need to make two more, uh, two more full batteries, because with that thing telling me that there's six left, I'm going to assume that they're all level two things. So that means I just need to have six of those batteries left, and it should work out in the end. Now, I might be wrong about that in the end, but don't think that's going to end up being the case. So, go throw a battery in there, go throw some stuff in there to be fixed up, and then we'll go quickly plant things on our farm before we go running off to help people. Um, this was a stream, I'd go ask you guys what you want to see me go or if you want to see me go help first but it isn't hmm. so i have to make that decision myself i guess um i'm using the pilgrim class a whole lot so i guess we'll go help shrika first then after shrika we can worry about Broca. after Broca, we can worry about Danthus, and then unicorn can wait till last because i don't know that anything is uh particularly needing me to build report with unicorn and unicorn is unicorn so uh it won't hurt him to wait actually you know maybe waiting with the memories that are some limbo of fake and real Maybe that's not good for a person's sanity, but also, eh, we can remove the memories of, like, waiting around with the fake memories, right? We can do that as part of that whole process, right? It won't cause any problems. Actually, it'll probably cause a lot of problems, I guess. I'm still going to wait on Unicorn, though. Just simply because it isn't immediately necessary for any of the classes I have at this moment. For all I know, Unicorn could end up like being needed for one of the two that I don't have. But I also highly doubt that, so I'm not worrying about it at the moment. I wonder if this is going to be enough for the remaining uh, harvest bowls. I did not actually pay enough attention to how many more I needed to harvest, just simply what I needed to harvest. And then there was curry. <laughs> uh, once I can just start regularly having... Actually, I guess I have a fairly sizable backpack now, so I should just go gather the ingredients together and just make a stack of curry to have as healing items for myself. The one downside is just simply that you are kind of limited in what healing items you can consume because 
you have to always like take into consideration like how full your hunger is because it does you no good to have a bunch of like high power healing items if your character is full because then you can't consume them anyways so <laughs> there's that bit of like balancing that you kind of have to do and those can just be sold so i need to just go ahead and throw those in the shipping box your goodness it took me a moment too long to remember what that was called and am I aiming for report five or six? I'm aiming for report six. Oh, and I can level up jobs again. Oh, I can't get any of the stuff that I care about for that. Oh, we can increase lightning damage. That sounds nice. I didn't realize that was actually a lightning weapon. Huh. But what does it actually switch between? Does it tell us? I check that out after this. I think it might be like an impact and an impact, and I guess lightning, since lightning is one of the things that that's boosting. And I don't think it would make sense for it to boost something that you can't use it with. And do I have any water side crops? I have the watermelon, which unfortunately is not harvestable in this season. But this does remind me that I need to go. Bye bye. This. <laughs> oh, I am having a bit of fun talking, but maybe I should cut to when I'm gone and gotten all of these things planted and such. I am curious though. What are the waterside crops? Uh, is it just? No, it's these. So we can plant some honey flower seeds and some nectar cane, and I think both of those are needed anyway, so we'll go ahead and grab a set of these and plant them. And I'm grabbing 24 of these seeds at a time just simply because when you're planting them, you can either plant in a one by three row, a three by three row, or a one by a one. Welcome home. I'm getting tongue tied. You can either plant them one at a time in a one by three row or a three by three square. And the other reason for choosing 24, other than like the size of when you're planting things, is just simply because of the fact that. <laughs> If you have a sprinkler, while the sprinkler is watering a 5x5 five five square, it is consuming the middle the middle unit of that little 5x5 five five square, so therefore you only have 24 spaces that you can actually use with it. And this actually is going to... Hmm. I guess I should have bought just three more of each of these and then I would have been able to plant all the way to the edge of this. I thought it was a lot larger. Also, I'm, I guess I'm too used to just like seeing rice grown in rice patties, but kind of as I'm like thinking of it now, it feels odd to not be planting the rice in the waterside biome. I hadn't really thought of that till just now. And although it's late in the day, we should still be able to go help someone. So, Shrika, we haven't really made much progress with Shrika's story overall, I guess. I thought we had made much more, so I bye think bye. I'm actually going to go talk with Baraka first, just simply because Baraka is that much closer to where we need to be for getting phone, you are not allowed to be going off at 1am who the heck is 
Ah. I, I know who's sending me messages at 1 a.m. now. Okay. Oh, it's, no, that's not the one priest priestess that we helped before, Claire. Dear Chris, I don't know what I'm supposed to be calling them as their, like, title, but let's go talk with Brocka first before I get myself more confused with that. Omen? Will you ever get tired of bothering me? I <laughs> have been acting strange. Strange, huh? I don't know what you were expecting, but if it was to find me at death's door, then I'm sorry to disappoint you. So no work today? <laughs> I ain't hurting for money if that's what you're getting at. I can afford to wait before job hunting again. My character is so surprised by that. What? Is it really that bizarre seeing me with nothing to do? Eh, kinda. Is this because of Amadeus? Hmm. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. With Amadeus dead and out of the way, I don't feel like doing anything else. Strange, isn't it? After dedicating my entire life to getting revenge, this is what I become the minute I find out he's dead. That's not really that surprising. Like, you've only thought about finishing him off. You never thought about what you were going to do once you've defeated him. Why did I want revenge on Amadeus all this time? That's what you want to ask, right? Hmm. I'm warning you, though. It's not a feel-good kind of story. Not like that would stop you from pressing the subject, huh? So, I was born in a really small village. Not much different from the settlement we were at before. Everyone in the village was... Yeah, everyone in the village was family. It was just that kind of place. A place filled with warmth. And it was a lot of fun, too. My childhood friend, Claude. The chief's daughter, Ina. The twins, Lot and Tori. My big brother, Badal. Taught me how to hunt. We were all really close. I thought a life like ours would last forever. But everyone died. Amadeus and Kierkegaard made sure of that when they attacked our home. And that's why you want revenge? By the time I realized... Darn it. I accidentally clicked the button. Uh, my house, my parents, my friends. Those bastards devoured all of them. Except for me. Only I survived. Mercenaries hell-bent on hunting the hollow turned up at the village. They were able to wound Kierkegaard and force him to flee the village along with Amadeus. You were the only one they saved? What, you missed that part? I told you, I was the only survivor. I kept asking myself, why? I couldn't get it out of my head. Why was I the only one left? The next thing to fill my head was revenge and how I was going to get it. You know what came after that? I became a mercenary and dedicated my life to hunting those bastards. That's why you became a mercenary? I already told you, it was the only path I could take. I was never schooled, I had no skills, there wasn't anywhere else a homeless brat like me could turn. To be fair, I didn't really put much thought into it. I just needed money and power, quick. So what will you do now? Good question. Can't chase Amadeus anymore. Well, what do you think I should do, Omen? What's left for a guy with nothing left after his dream of revenge has been snatched away for, from him? I'm lost. What the hell should I do now? What is there to live for? What is left? It's not all lost. I'll help you find a new purpose. You think there's one out there for me? 
Uh, we'll find it, I'm sure of that. You're sure, huh? That's some confidence. I guess there's no harm in trusting you. What else have I got to lose? Well, I suppose you could lose your charge if I die. Mm, now that I think about it, I don't know that Baraka would be that sad if I die. He might be angry if I die, but he's going to be angry that I died before helping him find a new purpose. Hey, that can be his new purpose. Getting revenge by finding the person that killed me before he could find a new purpose. Ugh. That's probably not the best way to go about things, but I suppose that would be an option in the very unlikely likely likelihood that something kills me permanently. And, oh, Shriek is over here. What do you have to say this time? Yes, I understand. I'll take care of the letter. You can continue your investigation. Yes, Sister Shrika. Oh. You came, woman. It looks like we have another issue not dissimilar from before. I'm listening if you need. Thank you. Just being able to discuss it with someone would help. And what sort of travesty are we dealing with this time? A spurious rumor has been spreading about the Order, and an amount of unfounded criticism among other distasteful slander has been hurled against the priests in the street. If it stopped there, then I would simply consider it ill-natured mischief. But merchants have appeared selling imitation flows and dolgentia. For what purpose? They call themselves members of the sect of the Anti-Mother. That's quite a label. They're referring to the Holy Mother of the Seaslight Order, but for them to use her monkier in such a way, her moniker in such a way. What the heck was I thinking with that first pronunciation? <laughs> oh. And now I just have like this picture of like a priestess with a straw hat on darn it <laughs> oh, using her moniker in such a way the mother has no power to save us that's what one of them kept insisting when we captured them earlier I can't claim to know what their goal is but there's no denying the upheaval it's causing within the holy capital we must put a halt to their activities for the sake of the townspeople and their safety. Well, we... <laughs> Let me know how I can help. That you would say that so readily is of great comfort. You're not of the Order, and you're certainly not of Arjun. You're able to approach this as one not swayed by the Order's inner mechanisms. Not to mention your exemplary record with the Flow's Indulgentia, <laughs> the Flow Indulgentia incident. That that feels like it was not a compliment. That feels like it was a dig at me. So thank you. I'd like to start immediately. Do I get a fancy badge? Oh no, I got a letter. What I gave you was a letter we received from the sect of the Anti Mother. The report you witnessed earlier was regarding this very object. Uncover the darkness in the locked room. That's all the letter says. What locked room? I think there's a room that only the Patriarch could enter. There's one door within the entire temple that remains locked. I don't like the darkness part. Exactly. Having a door locked to anyone but the Patriarch only serves to invite suspicion. It's reminiscent of the Flow Indulgentia, so I would say it bears investigating. If possible, I would like to stop any more secrets from being unveiled. 
Order must prove its own innocence. Do you know where the door is? Right, finding the door is our top priority. It is somewhere deep within the temple. Come this way. Here's the door in question. Darkness behind a door that won't open. What on earth do you think it means? Can we break the door? Mm, that's probably not a good idea. I want to break the door though. Just as I thought, it is locked. Oh. For one of these times, I really just want a character in a video game to walk up to a locked door and like start opening it and just go, wait, it's unlocked? <laughs> I thought it would be locked. I'm pretty sure that's happened in some video games before, but I'm so used to this particular scenario of, oh, I think the door is locked. Yep, this is a locked door. Oh, what if we kicked it? While I appreciate your creativity, if simply kicking it would work, then we wouldn't be in this situation. The key to this room has probably been passed down across generations of patriarchs. But Kierkegaard is no longer with us. And I have no idea where the key might be. So what do we do? We know for certain that the door is locked. That is enough for now. Let us pause our investigation for now, Omen. I'll look into this more deeply myself another time. Apologies for dragging you over here. Come back when we find the key. Or, you know, I've got a sword. Use that. Pretty sure if I stab the door enough times, it will make a new keyhole. <laughs> we can just reach through and open the door from the other side. That's how it works, right? Uh, this is... That letter has me concerned, but I would prefer to focus on suppressing the chaos caused by the sect of the Anti-Mother first. I'm sure you understand. Let us part ways for now. I'll contact you again once I know more about the door or the sect. Thank you for coming nonetheless, Omen. I'm pretty sure that I have enough things that I could probably break it. The sect of the Anti-Mother. No one has ever seen the Holy Mother with their own eyes. How can you believe in such a fantasy? If you were to lay your eyes upon the grace of the Holy Mother, it would surely drive you into despair. Yes, that's quite enough. We need to focus on what we should do. I really love how they stage some of these scenes. They look really nice. Oh, Rika boosts my magic damage. Uh, now I'm curious about what sort of damage this one weapon does. Does it actually, like, go and tell me? Uh, no, this isn't telling me nearly as much as I would like it to tell me like it tells me that i do slash damage but i guess slash damage is odd uh, because this is one of those games where i never know what is physical damage and what is not physical damage because this feels like one of those games where it's like if the weapon is magical it is going to deal damage as like a magical thing regardless of if it is like dealing lightning damage or slash damage on the other hand if the weapon's physical then it's going to deal damage as like physical damage regardless of if it's lightning or whatever as far as like boosts from boosts magic damage and boosts physical damage or resists physical damage and resists magic damage i think that unclarity Unclarity is not a word. That lack of clarity is one of the things that makes it so that I don't plan out more for like 
dealing with stuff as far as the weapons and such go. Which reminds me that I can't actually make consumable items that deal elemental damage, and I should probably start stocking up on those now because those will be useful against fears in the future. Or bosses. But <laughs> enough of that for now, we are on Dianthus's quest. Omen, oh, thank you for coming. I apologize for the other day. I cut our conversation short in spite of you coming all this way to see me. Did you find what you needed? That is why I called you here to discuss. I did not know how best to collect data on human emotions without giving away my identity. But the answer is that... Wait, but the answer to that could be found in the histories of Lost Gaia. In the form of a political strategy implemented long oh dear goodness we're getting politics involved that makes me nervous a box placed in towns where people could deposit letters of concern there are records of a reigning ai implementing a similar network it was considered an idealistic mode of democracy that allowed residents to directly respond to their government I hate that I know what it's talking about, but I can't think of the name of it. What a great idea. To the contrary. Such ideals remained so, and their sense of democracy was never realized. Today I spent so many precious resources negotiating conflicting opinions. The result? The nation crumbled. That sounds about right. But my goal isn't political in nature. I want to collect samples of thoughts and concerns that are born from the heart, and for that it will do. I have already established such a box in every town, less included. Lethe. Lethe. Again, I said it a while ago, I was going to forget how you actually pronounce it. But I'm going to go back to calling it Leth, because that's what it looks like to me. But, huh. I name it suggestion box. Aren't suggestion boxes usually like placed over the furnace or the garbage can? Ugh. Why why'd you go with that name? I simply borrowed the original name. It's not something I created. Humans have a great variety of worries and concerns. Being able to witness them may help to elucidate Okay, that actually is the word they use. Uh, to elucidate the mechanisms at work behind the human heart. Collecting the letters might be tough. Worry not, I have taken the necessary precautions. Any letters inserted into the suggestion box will be instantly transported to the Castle of Illusion. I imagine some letters have already begun to arrive. Once I have collected a reasonable num... Sorry, I am receiving a transmission. Nivalis? What is it? The castle storeroom is displaying irregular pressure levels? Can't help you. That has nothing to do with... What? There was a rush of letters from an unknown location which is causing it to overflow? Yes, those are mine. No, that's not... Look, I have my reasons. We've already received 562 complaints demanding we stop receiving such primitive correspondence? No, do not incinerate them. I'm on my way. Understand? Do not touch my letters, and inform the others, Nivalis. Wanna burn them? I told you that they're normally attached to an incinerator or a garbage can. <laughs> oh, I won't allow it. I'm sorry, but I must return to the Castle of Illusion right away. I need to take the airship there, so please allow me to take you home first. Once I have concluded my business at the castle, I will contact you again. Until then, Omen. <laughs> oh. I. Uh, ooh, unlock special technique. Primal Rizomata. A powerful crushing and sage attack centered on the target temporarily creates a damage field. Huh, interesting. What? <laughs> oh. Take it easy. I made that joke about like being connected to an incinerator just simply because that's the joke I always see. I wasn't expecting them to actually be threatening to incinerate the suggestion letters. <laughs> uh, good to see you, Omen. 
As I wrote in my letter, I wish to discuss what happened the other day. How are you writing those letters? Why must something so simple surprise you, hmm? I apply ink and write the same as you humans. I assumed all foals learned cursive in their youth. But that is all besides the point. We are here to discuss my memories. You're writing in cursive? That... That's more impressive than just writing, if I'm going to be perfectly honest. Oh. I have been put in a lot of thought into what I should do about these false memories. And I've come to a decision. I will have them removed. Are you sure about? Or are you sure that's what you want? Hold your tongue, or do you wish to dull my heart and resolve? You know, as well as I, that there's not a being alive who could replace my princess. Even though she is fictitious, devised by the omens, no matter how long I search this world, I will never find that which never existed to belong with. Such a fool I have been. Searching heart longing for a partner who never was. I cannot say my mind would remain as alicorn sharp were I to continue in such a manner. That end, I must have these memories expunged. I have wrestled with this sadness, but it is the only means of calming the tumult that rages in my heart. Wow, we're getting fancy words. Tumult and elucidate. <laughs> oh dear. Actually, are those still considered fancy words? They're words that I've used before, but I don't think I know too many people who would use them. Oh, let's get back to the castle then. Ah, uh, wait, wait, wait. We needn't be too hasty. I've decided to erase my memories of her, yes. But there's clearly some lingering attachment. It may not be real, but she is still... She's still my... Princess! It would seem my body is unable to conceal the aforementioned lingering affection. Which means that even if we erase my memories, there is a chance that some trace may still remain. So, yes. Before we proceed, I think it is best that I get my affairs in order. I wish to visit each location to which I had traveled with my princess, and earn some sense of closure. They may not be real, but they ought to be treated as memories nonetheless. Omen, I assume you will accompany me as my trusted retainer. Or rather, doing this by myself would be a tad lonely. This is something you should do alone. Uh, but of course. <laughs> I read you loud and clear. Worry not, my feelings have not been hurt in the slightest. Not a scintilla. I saw it coming, you see. So consider my ego neither scratched nor bruised. I am a passion of intestinal fortitude. No, can you turn him down like that? Very easily, I would say. Tell the unicorn you will accompany him. I don't know. Let his ego get bruised. He said it wouldn't get bruised if you turned him down. He was already expecting it. Ugh. Marvelous. With that matter out of the way, we will depart as soon as I have settled on where to visit first. Choosing just one when there are enough memories to fill a thousand evenings will be no small task. I will ponder on this and let you know forthwith with another letter. That will be all for today, but sure to, or be sure to come the moment you receive my letter, understand? I will... Put it at the bottom of my list. Ooh, feed maker level two. You are going to bribe me with the feed makers, aren't you? Hmm. Here I was thinking I was above bribery. Clearly I am wrong. And I... I don't think I can get as many of the things as I would like. I want to get just three more of each of these, but I don't think I can. Let's see. Uh. Okay, no, I can go and get just 
three more of each. Will make me completely broke, but I'm not concerned about that. So, return home. We'll take the teleporter to... Uh, let me go grab these right out there first. Take the teleporter to the water biome. Go plant these. Uh, I do not remember... Uh, wait, it will just tell me when I'm over it, so I won't have to worry too much. So, this is honey flower. This is the nectar cane. So, I'm all the way to the end here. Actually, I'm going to step over here real quick, and we'll start with this one, just to make sure I don't mess it up. There we go. Got those three planted. Get those three planted, and we're off to what I feel like is a decent start. So, we can head back to the house now. Uh, do I have anything to go into? I actually do have some stuff to go and deposit, so we'll go ahead and handle that. Uh, we're at about an hour for this recording now. And I'm, I need to debate if I want to go and do more character stories if I want to stop this recording for now. Um, I'll be honest, I want to keep this going and do some more stories, but it also might be better for me to maybe break this into... Oh, we got no letters. Well, that's a tad disappointing. Hello, little oh, but crappies. we've got the, uh... Hello, little crappies. Crope seeds. Hello, little I honestly crappies. wasn't expecting these to grow in just a single day. I guess I really wasn't paying enough attention to how quickly those grow. So we get these all set up. Everything else looks pretty much fine. Uh, I don't think any of these will grow in this season, so for now I can ignore them, I guess. I'll go throw these into here. Go throw that into the shipping box. And let's go double check and see if I can start making some of the stuff that I think I had forgotten. That's not what I want. Okay, we can make the less special, so let's go and do that. What does this look like? Oh, that looks delicious. All of that looks delicious. I will be perfectly honest seeing the fish just make me want more sushi. I had some sushi earlier today and I've, I already want more sushi. Uh, a special dinner eaten at celebrations. It's the left tradition to share this meal with your neighbors and enjoy it together. Oh, that's kind of interesting. So, wasn't there something else that I... This requires carrots, but I need the nitro pineapples as well. Uh, that means... Yeah, that needs the Makoka, which is a summer plant, if I was remembering right. Uh, what is this missing? That's missing sugar, which is just processing... Why is the word suddenly... Just processing the nectar cane. And actually, don't we have some nectar cane to go and process? Yeah, we have 10 nectar cane. That should be able to get us a decent amount of uh, sugar, I might think. Actually, thinking about it, uh, let's see, Spice Maker. I can go and make a level 2 version of the Spice Maker. That's nice. So we have that. I can't make the level 3 version of the Dessert Maker, unfortunately. I can make the level 2 version of the Feed Maker, and I don't know that it's super important to do that right now, but we'll go ahead and do that. And I'm trying, for some reason, part of my memory is telling me that at some point in time, the little things there get really large. But my memory also is not wanting to tell me at what specific level they get larger or if I'm just going crazy. Oh, this actually has a little... Hmm. I didn't pay enough attention to these to actually like notice that they have a small bit of difference to how they look. And 
we'll go throw the nectar cane and all those different things and that takes care of that the fermenting i don't need to worry about we can throw those back in there the left the left special dinner we can go take and turn i think this might be the last dish we need to turn in and left or leaf whatever now i'm now i'm bothered again by the fact that i can't remember how i'm supposed to pronounce that oh but let's go see if this is the last dish or not it is awesome season's bouquet salad recipe that sounds amazing so we've got all of that finished um think maybe it's we have eaten uh, I think we finished Shatola so I think it might just be Eden Welcome left home. I might go and check through that after we've gone and done this but we'll run back in here and see if we can go make that dish we just got because it sounds amazing so it's not part of that, it's back here. We can. It's not going to consume up all of the ingredients. So, let's go see what it looks like. Oh, that is amazing. Oh, that is so amazing. That's... I'll be perfectly honest. That's the kind of bouquet I would give to somebody. It looks amazing, and I'm... 100% certain that it would taste amazing. Salad made of vegetables from all four seasons, presented in a bouquet and eaten at celebrations. I absolutely love how that bouquet looks. Like, I can just think of, like, all the, like, careful cutting and carving to make those flowers out of, like, the ropes. Oh my goodness. I, I love that dish so much. Oh, wow, look at those stats. 5,050 HP plus 50% stamina. Physical attack and defense plus 10% magic. Wow, that's impressive. Okay. Okay, that needs... Oh. So I get premium meat specifically from picking on Sykes in Phantasmagoria. Okay. That's good to know. I wasn't honestly expecting that. Is there anything else that I can make right now? With any, like, relative... Word is escaping me with any of it, like, being able to be made relatively soon. Looks like I should be able to make curry rice soon enough. And I will 100% go and just, like, have a stack of this. Because I just love that. Look, more sushi. Darn it, more sushi. <laughs> oh, I, I wish the store was closer because then I'd... Actually, no, it's a good thing the store isn't closer because then I'd be way too tempted to just walk over and buy sushi on, like, a semi-regular basis. And I cannot afford to do that, unfortunately. So, I... Why... Okay, that's the Phantasma Choco Churros. But just from this like little icon without things loaded in, I know that those are like little paper bags that they're going to be in for holding it. But right now, it half looks like tiny little ac hand axes on like a piece of paper. Uh, but we're going to call this episode to end here. Just simply because I didn't get more of the uh things are escaping me. Just simply because I didn't get more letters to progress the character things, I'm gonna call it to an end. And I'll probably do just a small tad bit off off of a recording off and off of a stream. And then we'll worry more about other stuff when we pick up next time. But thank you so very much for tuning in. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a like on the video. If you enjoyed the content I make, please subscribe to the channel. I hope you have a wonderful day or night, depending on when you're watching this. And I hope to see you in a future video or stream.